टेंथ क्वेश्चन साल्व एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ फोर प्लस एक्स क्यूब माइनस सिक्सटीन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस फोर्टी एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो गिवेन दैट the product of the product of two of the roots two of the roots is 6 okay so product of the two of the roots is given solution comparing with comparing with a not x to the power of 4 plus a1 x cube plus a2 x square प्लस ए थ्री एक्स प्लस ए फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो हियर ए नॉट इज इक्वल टू वन ए वन इज इक्वल टू वन ए टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्सटीन ए थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर एंड ए फोर इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट so now let the roots be roots be alpha beta gamma and delta because degree is for four roots first let us find out some of the roots so now s1 s1 is equal to we have the formula minus a1 by a not S1 means alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to minus a1. So minus one by one minus one. Say equation one. This is better. And product of the roots S4. Product of means this is minus a1 plus a2 minus a3 and plus a4 by a not. A four by A naught. This is alpha into gamma delta is equal to A four. A four is how much? Forty eight by one. Forty eight. So already the product of the two roots is given. That means either it may be alpha beta or gamma delta is given. Better you take alpha b or gamma delta. Okay, gamma delta. so gamma delta is equal to gamma delta so let us consider gamma delta is equal to 6 6 alpha beta is equal to 48 alpha beta is equal to 8 say this is 2 now let us consider the quadratic equation equation formed by alpha and beta is We know x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to zero. Am I correct? Here we know the alpha beta value, but we do not know alpha plus beta. So better you say alpha plus beta is equal to something p. Let us say already 
we know that alpha beta is equal to how much 8. So, this can be written as x square minus p x plus 8 is equal to 0. Similarly, the quadratic equation, the quadratic equation, the quadratic equation formed by gamma and delta is x square minus of gamma plus delta of x plus gamma delta is equal to 0. We do not know the value of gamma plus delta. So, better you say gamma plus delta is equal to something q, but whereas gamma delta is known. So, here gamma delta is equal to how much we already 6. So, gamma delta is 6. So, now another quadratic equation becomes x square minus q x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, it is eventually that the product of these two must be equal to the given expression. So, consider this x to the power of 4 plus x cube minus 16 x square minus 4 x plus 48 must be equal to x square minus p x plus 8 multiplied by x square minus q x plus 6. Now, we have to find out p q values. If you know the p q values very simple easily we can solve them. Okay. So, now let us simplify this side. So, x to the power of 4 now minus q x cube plus 6 x square minus p x cube plus p q x square plus p q x square minus 6 p x plus 8 x square minus 8 q x plus 48. So, this is equal to x to the power of 4 next cube terms, cube terms mean these two. So, now what do you get minus of p plus q of x cube ok next x square terms this this this. So, that will be p q plus 14 of x square next x terms minus 6 p x and minus 8 q that means, so minus of 6 p plus 8 q of x plus 48. So, now comparing on both sides, comparing on both sides. So, comparing on both sides we get So, p plus q is equal to minus of p plus q is equal to 1. So, p plus q is equal to minus 1 and whereas, comparing x square coefficient p q plus 14 is equal to minus 16 minus 16. So, p q is equal to minus 30. Now, p plus q whole square find out what is p plus q whole square. So, sorry p minus q whole square, p plus q whole square minus 4 p q. So, that is 1 plus 120, this is 121, 
Now, p minus q will be square root of 121 is 11. Now, solving p plus q and p minus q, we get p q values. Solving p plus q is equal to minus 1 and p minus q is equal to 11. Adding these two cancel, 2 p is equal to 10, p is equal to 5. 